everyone, my name is Mandy and today I'm going to be doing my July TBR. There is no baby with me. Right now she's taking a nap. It's the perfect time to film a video. This video should be on the shorter end because I don't have very many books that I'm putting on my list to read this month. We are going to be moving and I think that reading will probably be put a little bit onto the back burner. If you've been following me at all, you'll know that I have two goals that I set for myself every month. One is to read a book that is out of my comfort zone and one is to read a nonfiction book. So I'm going to start with the book that is out of my comfort zone. I'm gonna be reading Aurora Rising by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. These are the people that wrote the Illuminae series. And if I'm being honest, I did not finish the first book. I got about 100 pages into that one. And I think that it's just not the right time in my life. It was very violent. And since I've become a mom, violence is a lot harder for me to read. I don't know. I guess it's just all the hormones. So maybe in a couple years when that's all died down, I'll give it a shot. But I figured that I would give their other book a try. Everyone is buzzing about it. And... I'm not going to give up on the authors completely. I am all for trying them out again. Now, as I think that Haley and Bookland pointed out, it sounds like so many books are going for a Six of Crows ragtag game. At least that's what the back cover sit, seems to say to me in this. You've got a cocky diplomat with a black belt in sarcasm, a sociopath scientist with a fondness for shooting her bunkmates, a smart-ass tech whiz with the galaxy's biggest chip on his shoulder. An alien warrior with anger management issues. A tomboy pilot who's totally not into Thai, in case you are wondering. And I think that's fun. But the best part, the thing that really made me want to read it when I saw other people talking about it, is this little blurb on the front. It says, they're not the heroes we wanted. They're just the ones we could find. And it sounded so fun to me. I don't usually pick up sci-fi. Sci-fi is not something that I will go for normally. So that's why this is out of my comfort zone. Uh, it seems like it's done in a fun way, just reading the cover and reading that little blurb up there. So I am excited to try it out. The next book is my nonfiction book and I am going to be reading Catherine the Great by Robert K. Massey. Robert K. Massey is a Russian historian, so he has a lot of books out about Russian history. And this was the one that was available from my library, so that's what I chose. I figured I would take a break from murder and forensic science, which I have read about the last two months, and read something about a queen, even though I think that there's a lot of death and murder in this one too. And you may be saying to yourself, Mandy, you just said you can't handle a lot of violence. And I can't. I don't know. It's just something about the way that it's portrayed. Some things I can handle and some things I can't. And Illuminae, I couldn't. Sorry. The next book on my TBR was actually on my TBR this last month, but it didn't come into the library until a couple days ago, and I'm definitely not going to be able to finish it in the last two days in the month. It is Again But Better by Christine Riccio. I am excited to pick this up. I think everyone pretty much knows about it. Written by a booktuber, so that's exciting. I will be getting to this in the beginning of the month, most likely. And the final book that I want to read this month is going to be Serious Moonlight by Jen Bennett. I got that right. This is about a girl who is a little bit of a loner who picks up a job before her freshman year of high school and her world opens up. It's a coming of age story and I need more light and fluffy contemporaries in my life anyways, so this is just what I need to start out the month. Also, I read through contemporary so much faster than I read through any kind of fantasy book. If you have any recommendations for a nice fluffy, fa er, a nice fluffy contemporary, let me know. I'm kind of running out of contemporaries to read. As long as there is no explicit sex. Not my cup of tea. Anyways, that was nice and quick. Four books that I want to read this month. 
Like I said, I'm going to be moving and I don't know exactly what I will have access to and how much time I will have. So I'm shooting low, but maybe if we're lucky, I will end up high. Thank you so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did enjoy it, feel free to click subscribe. You can also follow me on my social media. I will link them below. Happy summer and have a great day. Let me just take a second to realize that again, but better is like an inch taller than the rest of the books that are standard YA size. Why is that? I don't know. Christine, why? Why? I know you had so much to do with the size of your book.